Dear all Unica users, welcome to this new video on HCL Unica Interact's Enhanced Event Patterns functionality. Today I am going to explain about two important actions which are now added into Interact's Event Patterns. Those actions are Qualify Segment and Suppress Offer. In order to explain this scenario, I have considered a bank website where there are a couple of events and some event patterns based on those events. The scenario or a use case which I'm going to show you is something like this. There is a new customer on your bank website who has logged in first time and then he is doing a purchase using net banking option. Now, in this case, you want to offer you as a marketer want to offer him a credit card. And hence, once he does a net banking purchase, then based on those two events, you will be giving him an offer. And in that case, you can use this particular event pattern action, which is called qualify segment. Now, consider another user who already has a credit card from your bank and he logs into your bank website and then does a purchase using the credit card. In that case, you don't want to give him the same 2x rewards offer because he's already using the card and hence you want to suppress that particular offer for this new user. So I'm going to show you both of these use cases in this video. I'll first show you the qualify segment event pattern. As I mentioned, I have considered the pattern with two events. The first one is first login event and then a net banking purchase event. And once the condition is met for this pattern based on these two events, then there is an action which will get fired, which is a qualify segment action and this qualify segment action considers a segment called new credit card segment now once the customer is put into this new credit card segment using this particular event pattern I'm going to give him an offer using a treatment rule in the strategy so my strategy has a very simple treatment rule which is based on this new credit card segment and giving an offer with name as 2x rewards. And then the second event pattern is a suppress offer event pattern where I'm considering again two events which is a login event and the next one is a card purchase event. So once these two events are fired into the interact engine then an action called suppress offer will be triggered and this action will suppress this particular offer for the customer let us see how this works using the interact test api client page Here, I am doing a simple start session for a customer with ID as 105. And then, I am posting an event for the same session, which is a login event. Now, after the login event is posted, the customer is using a net banking purchase option, which I am sending again as an event. Okay, so once these two events are posted, let's see 
using a get offers call. Here you can see an offer with name as 2x rewards is presented to this particular customer because he because the event pattern qualify segment has turned true for this particular customer. We can also see that on the event pattern and offer rule states page. So my audience level was this and my customer ID was 105. You can see this particular event pattern qualify segment offer the condition is made for this customer and the other event pattern suppress card the condition is not made because he has not sent an event of card purchase so once he has got this offer we are done with this first event pattern now we can consider maybe the same customer for the other pattern where he has already posted the first event which is first login and now he is going to post first card purchase so this event i have sent now let's see this particular pattern suppress card offer pattern has now the status as condition made because this particular card purchase event is fired and hence this particular pattern has turned true now this pattern has turned true so it will suppress the offer let us see using the get offer call So if you can see here he is now not getting the 2x rewards offer but there is some default offer presented to him this is because the offer called 2x offer is suppressed for this particular customer as the event pattern with suppress offer action has turned true for this customer this was all about the very powerful actions which are now added into HCL Unica Interact to enhance the existing event pattern functionality. I hope this video was useful for you to understand the functionality around enhanced event patterns. Thank you.